Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate the comments, the support, and the interest that you all have for what I'm finding up there on the moon. This is Copernicus Crater. Yeah, I found flashing lights on the surface of the moon. And what are those lights on the surface? What are they? They're, they're flashing on the surface of the moon. I mean, it's driving me mad. I'm finding it every moon phase. How long is it going to take for others to see it? I hope so many more will come and see it. Flashing lights on the surface of the moon, never before seen. And I've got uh, many videos now that I'm able to post the proof. Every time I find something, those just arriving here, look back in some of the videos and I'm sure you will enjoy the videos. There's a good many bunch of them that are very interesting. Um, those just arriving, we have an amazing community here and uh, we have a lot of fun in the comment section and you know sometimes some bad people come around the channel and stuff it doesn't matter but if any of you are having problems with anyone on in the comment section please feel free to to tell me you know like message me in comments or email me at bruce Schwartz 75 a commercial gmail.com i want everyone to get along here i'd love even more kids to come by the site to see um you know the beauty side of the moon and we're zooming in today, we're looking at color, 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 all over the surface of the moon. We don't have to add any, we have to actually take it out, there's so much bloody color. And when we zoom in, the colors are just beautiful, they come out. And the first apparent color we see all of the time is that beautiful green color. And our beautiful moon is coming back out. It's starting to reappear in the sky. Well, not here, but I know somewhere in the world it's starting to appear. The 27th of this month, August, is the full moon. So before I go back to work, at the end of this month, uh, very beginning of the next month, September, I will be able to get that moon again. And that's good because I'm going to gather up some footage of the full moon and leading up to the full moon, again, following that phase of light, that line of light and darkness on the surface, because that's what shows us the structures, right? It shows us the details um, all over the surface. Thanks for connecting, guys and gals. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate the support that I'm getting. It's a pleasure for me to be able to meet so many people from different countries to hear your opinions on what you guys and gals think about what my research is showing us. You know, what are we seeing in some of the videos, some very controversial videos. Thanks for the support, everyone. A lot more on its way, and tomorrow I'll get a couple of videos up, and we're going to get in really close tomorrow. How does someone reach the world? Someone who's not known. Someone who is no one. <laughs> Basically, I'm trying to reach the entire world. And I understand that I have to go through that process that surprisingly, as surprisingly as it is, that I have to uh, 
um, go many years before all this information gets out. It's just, wow, it's a learning process for me. I didn't think it would have been that long. Honestly, seriously, thought it would not have been that long. When I go on YouTube, I usually have um, enough common sense to distinguish whether a UFO video is real or not. And the ones that I'm finding are very real. And I invite anybody to, you know, do your own analysis and research on what I'm doing myself. And it is very, very real. And um, the appreciation I have for those who are interested and the group that we are forming slowly but surely. And I'm very happy for uh, the big group that we are now anyways, because reaching people, um, the people that are here, by the way, each person in the community is a real person. There's no fake channels. It's all people that have reached me. Some have subscribed, some have not. And that's not important. The fact that you've all connected to me and we're accepting our differences. I'm not here to change anyone's belief, but I'm here to show you guys an amazing surface, a 14 inch telescope and my technique of, with magnification to be able to get into the surface. We are doing pretty good. We're finding UFOs and movement. And that was my goal from the beginning, like I said to everyone, we're gonna find UFOs hopefully when I get the 14 inch scope. Look at this gas on the surface. It's not a color um, of the surface, it's a gas. It looks like it's over top of those craters and that orange light or gas or whatever you see is always over top of these craters every single time I go by. Maybe some of you are afraid to watch some of the videos. Some of you are very emotional when it comes to talking about religion and beliefs and you're not alone in the world. I know many people are like that and it's understandable. But let me tell you that the alien videos, which I've never called one of them alien videos, never tried to clickbait anyone. It's real lunar research. Um, you know, when you look at those videos, they're beautiful. No matter what, it is we are looking at whether it be sinister or not i assure you the videos and the findings are beautiful and what we're finding on the surface um, is never before seen has never before been captured i appreciate those who get these videos out and um, well not this one in particularly but the videos that i do show of the the anomalies the ufo crafts that are on the surface of the moon 
And also biological creatures. Wow, just imagining the biological creatures could exist on the moon. Well, honestly, it used to all be really magnificently cool and near impossible, the thought of it. But for me now, it's just a reality. And I'm not, I'm not gonna have a hard time not being able to prove it to the world, of course not. But I'm more than happy for those that do stop by here to, that are curious to see what I'm capturing with the research. I assure you it's very up-to-date researching and what I'm showing is totally amazing on every level because for me an alien seeker whatever you want to call me alien seeker alien hunter alien finder I love looking into the unknown and this time imagine my surprise finding out that the moon could possibly be inhabited Thanks for watching everyone. If you have UFO videos that you'd like to send into the channel, or have seen in the video on my channel, if you own the copyrights to them, please leave a short description and leave me your name if you want a name credited to the video that you send in. Thanks a lot for watching everyone.